Can the rookie picked 57th in the draft really have an impact in year one? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another player preview. In this series, I break down what I expect from players on the offensive and defensive ends, what I think their role would be, how I think they might be used in Chauncey Billups' system, as well as some statistical goals. As far as Jabari Walker goes, he's an intriguing player because he's kind of an NBA-ready rookie that almost went undrafted. You don't see that too often. He was drafted with the second last pick in the draft by the Portland Trailblazers. He's played at the University of Colorado and at Colorado averaged 15 points per game, about nine rebounds and assists while shooting 46% from the field and 34% from three, but those percentages were better the second half of his season. For his career, he shot 40% from three as he was phenomenal his freshman season. I dropped a whole video on Jabari Walker. If you want some more of my thoughts about him coming out of college, definitely go check that out. But we're going to look ahead in this player preview series, and for every player, I give them a storyline for the season, and the storyline for Jabari Walker is steal. That's the storyline. That's the headline. Because I think he's going to establish himself as a steal. Even if he doesn't have as good of a season as some people are hyping him up to have, he's still probably going to look like a steal with where he was drafted in the draft. Now, I like Jabari Walker in college at Colorado. I was very impressed with some of the games that he had, and I thought he should have been taken in the early second round. He fell all the way to 57, and... <sighs> He's just a better player than that draft selection would suggest. In Summer League, Jabari Walker looked phenomenal. And you can never read too much into Summer League, but I think the one thing you can read into is basketball IQ and how smart a player looks and how instinctually they play. Jabari Walker looks like a guy who knows how to play the game of basketball, has good defensive and offensive instincts, and is just a smart all-around player. And then on top of that, he can shoot threes, and he showed that he can defend. So while there's other guys that I would pump the brakes on a little bit with summer league performances, for a guy like Jabari Walker who showcased how smart he is as a player, I think that could put him in a position where year one, the coaching staff can have some trust in him to go into the game and not screw anything up and maybe even help out a little bit on both sides of the ball. Speaking of both sides of the ball let's break those down starting with the offense and the key for Jabari Walker is going to be his three-point shot and I have confidence in it if he can simply be a floor spacer who can knock down catch and shoot threes then he's a guy that doesn't really have to have anything ran for him but he can also help out star players because he'll give Dame and Ant and Josh Hart and other playmakers on the roster more space in which to operate and I think the Blazers this year have a lot of playmaking talent guys that can either create for themselves or create for others or both having shooters around them is going to be a beneficial thing and you want a balance between enough playmaking and enough floor spacing Jabari Walker can bring that second quality I would be shocked if Walker isn't a guy that defenses have to respect and stay out on I don't think you're going to see defenders playing super far off Jabari Walker as we get further along into the season but at the start of the year when he doesn't have much respect you could see Walker getting some open catch and shoot looks I just think his shooting talent is enough that he will knock those down and make defenders think twice before leaving him in the past uh, Blazers forwards haven't really had that quality they haven't necessarily been the best floor spacers I think Jabari Walker will be better than a number of past Blazer forwards in terms of just being a spot up catch and shoot guy and a floor spacer so that's the number one thing I'm looking for as far as his offense this year is what is his three-point percentage is he knocking down shots and that sort of thing but on top of that he He's not just a shooter. I really like his cutting. He showcased that in Summer League, and that goes to show some of the high basketball IQ stuff that I talked about, but he looks like a guy that'll make the right cut when it's available to him and then spot up when he needs to as well, and having a guy that can do both those things makes their defender off the ball have to worry about a lot. It helps keep the back line of an opposing defense honest, and it's harder to load up on other players. Jabari Walker seems like the type of guy who just knows how to cut at the right time when to back cut when to flash to the middle of the paint that sort of thing having a guy that knows how to move off ball is beneficial especially if they are a shooter Everything else is going to be a little bit of a work in progress, in my opinion. I don't expect him to be making many plays for others. I don't expect him to be doing a whole lot with the ball in his hands, but the Blazers don't need a guy like that, and that's why I envision Jabari Walker potentially being a helpful piece next year, because he can play a specific role on the offensive end. Yes, it would be nice to develop some passing ability and some playmaking ability and some better ball handling ability out of him, and then all of a sudden, you have potentially a starting caliber forward that you got for next to nothing, and 
that is always a good thing to have. But it just barely 20 years old, Jabari Walker has a ton of time to develop that. I'm not expecting that to be a focal point of his game if he sees playing time this year. I expect him to just play to his strengths. He's a shooter and he'll make the right cut. And then the third thing I want to talk about that he will have a positive impact in, in my opinion, is offensive rebounding which is a part of offense it's an extra possession you basically wipe out a missed shot with an offensive rebound having a guy that can get offensive boards as well as space the court is rare because normally when you have three point shooters they're not playing around the rim on offense so they're not collecting these offensive rebounds they're out beyond the three point arc but Jabari Walker has proven in college and in summer league to be a guy that can knock down threes while space the court, but then also somehow just find his way into the paint a lot of times and gather offensive rebounds or get tip outs or that sort of thing. And with Damian Lillard, Anthony Simons, you're going to have some deep threes that are missed. That leads to long rebounds. Having guys in there that can corral those rebounds is definitely a positive thing. So that is the breakdown of Jabari Walker's offensive game. Now let's talk about defense. Defense. And I think this is the biggest swing factor that could go either way for Jabari Walker. I do expect him to be an okay defender his rookie year, but we've seen highly touted defensive players come into the league in past years, and they haven't been good defensive players right off the bat. It's a tough adjustment going from a lower level to the NBA. I don't know if Jabari Walker is going to be able to make that adjustment right away, but I surely hope he can, because in that case, then he's a 3 and D forward, and those, as the Blazers have proven in past years, aren't exactly easy to find now I think he will defend forwards just fine that's threes and fours small forwards and power forwards I think he has the foot speed to stay in front of most forwards and then I think he has the size and the strength especially in his chest to be able to wall guys off and be physical on drives the thing is 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 he gonna be called for a ton of fouls as a rookie because he won't get respect from the refs that is something we definitely have to worry about next year but defensively he seems like he's a smart defensive player he seems like he has good instincts it seems like he knows what spot to be in and he seems to recognize that quickly. Some guys know what spot to be in, but they don't recognize or read offensive plays quickly enough in order to get to the spot that they need to be in. Some guys just process it extremely quickly. Jabari Walker seems like the latter. He has enough length to be a little bit of a rim protector. I don't expect that to ever be a strong suit of his, but as a secondary rim protector at a power forward spot, I think he's just fine in that regard. But I think where I have the most optimism in regards to his defense is actually on the ball because in summer league, I was very impressed with how he A, moved his feet, but then B, he also didn't open up the door like a lot of young players do and just let offensive players drive by them. That's been an issue with a lot of young players. And a couple of these player previews We'll cover that issue in regards to other players on this Blazer roster. But Jabari Walker did a good job in Summer League just sliding his feet and then absorbing contact with his chest, which is a skill that's hard to teach. And the fact that he is able to do it even somewhat consistently in Summer League, that's something that you don't just do in Summer League and then you're unable to do in the NBA. Yes, players are a little quicker, a little faster, but he was doing that against some of the quickest guards in Summer League at times. So if we're talking about him, guarding threes and fours at the NBA level, I think he'll be able to stay in front of them and contain them on the perimeter. The biggest question is, can he do that against NBA guards? If he can, then he's a multi-positional defender. And then at that point, he has a chance to be a top 100 NBA player at some point. Because the league values forwards that can slide their feet, guard multiple positions, and stay in front of guys and contain them. So it'll be interesting to see him get switched out onto guards and if he can hang or not. I expect him to struggle against NBA guards. Pretty much every defensive player does especially when they're young but I don't know if he has the foot speed to stay in front of some of the elite guard scoring options but just as long as he's a good team defender and can defend forwards then he's not going to hurt the Blazers on the defensive end as far as his overall fit in the Blazers system I just think he's a plug and play guy you don't have to run sets for spot up shooters and he'll just play off guys and space the floor and make the right cut that's a good insurance policy to have a lot of insurance policies are guys that maybe struggle shooting the three ball or struggle defensively and they can maybe help you at times on one end of the court, but then on the other end of the court, they are consistently costing you. Those types of players are harder to fit into the lineup. It's harder because you have to mask their defensive issues. If a guy struggles to shoot, he's hurting the floor spacing. And then things that worked with maybe a better shooting lineup don't work when you have a questionable end of the roster shooter in there. But that's where I like Jabari Walker as a potential insurance policy in case injuries happen, knock on wood, or 
or something else crazy happens i don't know but it's nice to have an insurance policy that's a long-term developmental piece that's barely 20 years old but year one you feel like you can count on them to not hurt you on either end of the floor and uh, he just has to knock down threes and then just not be a liability on the defensive end and I, I think both those things are likely I mean you look at another young forward on the Blazers roster Greg Brown the third you can't trust him to consistently shoot or play defense or do anything with the ball in his hands I think Jabari Walker's better than him with the ball in his hands at least just making basic plays with the ball you can't consistently rely on Greg Brown the third to come into a meaningful game and not hurt you yet hopefully some point you will be able to but not yet with Jabari Walker I think it's different I think he's an insurance policy that you can trust now let's look at the statistical goals for Jabari the first two are efficiency goals and those are to shoot 50% from the field and 36% from three this might seem a little bit high but given the fact that a lot of his two-point looks are going to be very high quality in my opinion he's not going to be driving into traffic and trying to rearrange around two defenders to finish he's going to be getting cuts for dunks probably offensive rebounds for putbacks and that's probably it and then from beyond the three-point line he should be a high caliber three-point shooter so I think there's a legitimate chance that he has an efficient rookie season normally that's not the case for late second round picks so maybe that efficiency is a little bit bold of a goal but these goals are supposed to be a little bit optimistic a little bit positive something to strive for right if he shoots 47 percent from the field and 34 and a half percent from three that's not bad bad at all but i'm going to set some lofty goals for some of these guys goals that i think they can reach though goals that i think are realistic enough to put out there so that's my two efficiency goals for Jabari Walker. And then the final two goals are based on per 36 minutes because I don't know how many minutes per game these guys are going to play. And obviously that changes how many points per game or rebounds per game you get. Obviously, if you play more minutes, you have more time to accrue more stats. So these are per 36 based numbers. I want to see him average 12 points per game and then seven rebounds per game. I think both of those are even more realistic than the efficiency goals that I set for him. The rebounds, especially he averaged over nine a game in college i think he will be a good rebounder in the nba anyway that wraps up this player preview on jabari walker i'm very curious and excited to see what he is on the nba level this next season and then of course i'm excited to see what he can become long term i'm very very high on the rookie let me know what you think about jabari down in the comment section below let me know what you expect from him this season let me know if you think he'll play right away just give me your thoughts it's always fun to read them on specific blazers players leave a like on this video it helps me out and then subscribe if you're new to the channel we cover the Portland Trailblazers and sprinkle in some general NBA stuff in there, but we have a post-game show after every single Blazers game. I'm excited to get those started in less than a month. We might have another player preview later on tonight on the 21st, so stay tuned. We're going to finish up this series by the end of September, so there will be a couple days where there's two uploads. There's also going to be a playlist linked in the description box below for player previews as well. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Until next time, as always, peace out. Go Blazers!